welcome to Geneva. 310,000 people have already come to the motor show to catch a glimpse of the newest cars. Stay tuned for some more of them. Dacia extends her line with the Logi. This minivan is 4 meters 50 long and 1 meter 75 large. You can fit 5 to 7 people inside. This car has a new overall roundness design. Vous allez retrouver une nouvelle expression de la face. The front of the car has a new design. It's more sturdy. That is the new expression Dacia wants to give. Of course, you will be able to find all the standards of a minivan. The goal is to show that there is space. That's why you have a lined-up windscreen, you find the sturdiness in the design with the side banner. Exprimer la fiabilité, la robustesse et le volume de ce monospace. Dacia offers a lot of optional gears such as the parking radar, the Bluetooth connectivity and a speed limiter. But the first version of the car will already be well equipped. First car costs less than 10,000 euros, which is an amazing price. For that price, you already have a good car with assisted steering and safety standards. The Dacia Logi costs 9,900 euros. BMW reveals its first four-door coupe, the Series 6 Grand Coupe. BMW opens up to a new economic market and will finally be able to compete against Audi and Mercedes. The car is 11 centimeters longer than the two doors. It's a four-seated car with a fifth seat if needed in the center. Two models will be on sale, a six-cylinder with gas and a 320 horsepower, and an eight-cylinder with 450 horsepower. BMW took care of the comfort and security of the car with the iDrive system and the driving experience control button, which allows the driver to alter an array of vehicle settings and presets called Comfort, Sport and Eco Pro a special audio control and a speed regulator. Everything is thought for a better comfort of driving. Take some height and look carefully. In Geneva, the brands are brought together by type of cars and by Economic Alliance, a way to help the manufacturers during the economic crisis. I think that this type of organization is going to grow. For a small brand, it's nearly impossible to survive alone. The last alliance known of is between PSA, Peugeot, Citroën and General Motors. It's going to be amazing when you will have to negotiate the price of the metal, the spare parts, the painting and the electronic parts. They will now come with a position of number one. It will be a good benefit for them. In a sector marked by international concurrence, the manufacturers cannot be on their own anymore to develop new products. All this mutual work will help to expand new projects that should emerge in 2016. Standardization of cars, identical components, will the brands lose their own identity? Behind me, you can see a great counterexample. GM bought the Korean brand Daewoo. This brand worked really well in Asia, but not at all in Europe or in the States. They renamed it Chevrolet, which had disappeared except for the Corvette, and now it's an international success. So do you really think that people who drive Chevrolet say it's not really one? I don't think so. The young people who buy it can see it's not written Daewoo, but Chevrolet. After the partnership between PSA and GM, Renault could be the next one to do an alliance with Fiat to be continued. This design concept car is Pininfarina's new baby, the Cambiano. Her name is a tribute to the town where the group is headquartered. It also marks a double anniversary, the 30 years of the styling center and the 10 years of the engineering center. The Cambiano is a great example of Pininfarina's design. I like to imagine that the inspiration of this car came from a car designed by my grandfather. That is the Lancia Florida 2 1957. That was a sports sedan coupe luxury innovative. So 55 years later, we try, we try to make the same thing for the motor show. The Cambiano concept car can be best described as a work of art. The sweeping concept suggests a large sedan, the driver's side has one door like a coupe, and the passenger side two doors that swing open suicide style. 
the interior of a car may be uh, in line or may be inspired also by the, by the interior of a house. So it's a provocation to stimulate the, the discussion about new interior, luxury interior design. This concept car has a plug-in electric propulsion system, a long hood, slit headlights and a transparent roof with raked C-pillars. This eco-friendly concept combines top performances, excellent usability and the comfort of a luxury car. We'll be waiting for you tomorrow with more surprises from the Motor Show. And don't forget that you can vote for your favorite premiere on our Facebook page.